Viewing the water surface from above, we can draw in the ridge here with a depth of D1 in the middle and D2 at the edges. From the question, we know that this gives a speed of root g d1 in the middle and root g d2 at the edges. Note that as there are two different speeds, the waves are refracted as they travel over the edge of the ridge, so we draw in the normals to the surfaces. For a wave travelling across the ridge, we can find the minimum angle theta by considering the critical angle theta c, which gives an angle of refraction of 19 degrees. In other words, the sine of the angle of refraction is 1. Using Snell's law, we can find the critical angle theta c, and from that, the minimum angle theta.